Hi, welcome to this first episode of the First Person Survival Shooter Tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be simply setting up our first person character and their health class. To start off with, let's go to our Blueprints folder in our First Person Blueprints folder. And we'll open our first person character. Okay, so as you can see, this is the first person character that you have on the screen. Your camera with your skeletal mesh and gun. And there's just a few things we want to add to this. We want to add a variable called health, which we'll put as an integer that will store our player's health. And now we want to add a state. And our state will be an enumeration. So an enumeration is your own variable type, which will allow you to store data differently. So go on blueprints and then enumeration and we'll create a new enumeration called player state. And we're going to put that in our folder named enums. So as I said, it allowed you to store data in your own way. What it does is it uses integer values. So 0, 1, 2, 3 to represent other readable values such as alive, dead, shooting, all these states that our player could be in. So to show you an example, we'll add a new enumerator and we'll call this alive. And then we want shooting. Taking damage. Or dead. Okay, now you could add more, such as running, because that's another player state. Or jumping, or any other player state your player can be in but we're just taking into account ones that actually matter. So running is just gonna not really matter to us. And our player is not gonna be able to jump, so we're not going to allow them to jump. So there's no point in having a state. So to cancel our jumping as well, if we just go to jump Z velocity, and we say zero, and now when we compile and play and press space, our character doesn't jump. To get rid of it even more so, you can just delete that code there, which was the jump state, and now they don't even play the animation either. Okay, now we want to create a class. So we're going to add another folder named Classes. And we want to go to Blueprints, New Blueprint Class, Actor Component, which we'll name Player Health. Now we're using this as a class so that we can call this class every time our player needs to receive damage. So we're going to add a new function. We're going to add one named take damage. And we're going to add one named death. Because our player can only take damage or die, for their health, that's the only ones we need. However, we may come back and add a power up or something to allow them to regenerate health, in which case that will be another function. So in take damage, very simple, we just want to take damage. We want an input, and we want current health, and we want a new another input named damage taken. And these want to both be integers. And we want an integer minus an integer, and we want to minus the damage taken in the bottom from our current health. And then we want a branch holding B and left click to check if their health is less than zero. Because if it's less than or equal to zero, then the player is dead, and we need to call our death function. So, on true, we want to call death. Otherwise, we want to left click on this take damage part here, and we want a new output. This output's going to be new health. And we want to use this for both after the player's dead and the false statement. And what we want is to plug that minus into there. And we'll just left click on the line so we can add this point, which will allow us to create a more readable blueprint. So there we go. Once the player's taken damage, we're going to return the damage back to the player and we're also going to call death. So now we go back to our first person character and we want to add a variable named um, 
player C for character state, player character state, and we want to look for our enum player state, whose default value should be alive. As you can see, there are values we made there. And then we want to add a new component and we want our player health component. Now we're going to add one more thing in another folder named library. And we're going to add a new blueprint, blueprint function library. And this will be our player lab, player library. And we'll have one named take damage or damage player. And this library will be called by all our enemies, all our other assets. So instead of having to cast to the player in every single blueprint, we just call this one blueprint library. So in damage player, we want to cast to our first person character. We want to get our player character, as that's the object we're looking for. And as this is a single player only game, we just need to leave that zero index there. As first person character, I want to take damage player health. So that player health is our class. As first person character, we want to get our health variable, add that as our current health. Connect that to the cast and in the damage player, we want an input, which will be damage inflicted as this will be called by the enemy. And we want to hook that up into damage taken. And there we go. So now this blueprint class can be easily called and our player can get damaged health without adding it into the character itself, keeping everything clean and separate and very professional looking. In the next video, we will look at creating our enemy class and our enemy libraries. So stick around if you want to see that.